Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and soon to be published novel I Am Mercy. And today we are going to be doing a little bit different of a video. Sherry Moore, she did a video here on YouTube talking about her first year in college and what the experience kind of was. So I thought I'd do the same thing because my experience was not necessarily the best experience. I want to talk about it because I want to be able to make it so people don't have to go through with the same thing that I did. Now I'm not going to be all mopey and all that whatever because I'm actually going to sit down and talk to you guys about what was really awesome about college because even though I wasn't the biggest fan of it, I, I went through it and I'm still really glad I went through it. And then I'll also leave a link down below to Sherry's video so you can kind of see what her experience was because she had a really fun experience. She's also a booktuber here so you'll like her video so make sure you subscribe. Anyways, the college that I chose to go to was about two and a half hours away from my house. I absolutely loved it. I did this thing called Lead Academy my freshman year which means they choose um, about 20 different freshmen and they take them and we all live on campus a few weeks before school actually starts and we do all these team building stuff. It's all these leadership building things and you get to live on campus so you get to learn the campus before all the other freshmen come and you also have your leaders and those are like sophomore, junior, and senior students who are kind of helping you with these activities and all that so there's a lot of bonding before we even went to live on campus. So Lead Academy was one of the best things I had ever experienced and then a few weeks later I actually moved in with my roommate and before that we had um, preseason for cross country because we were both on the cross country team so we stayed for preseason in a different room and that's kind of if anybody's part of a sports team it's when you go live on campus before school actually starts to start training really early. And preseason only lasted, I think, about five days for us, and then we got to move into our real room. So me and my roommate, we had so much fun just moving everything in. And it was really great at first, but I had really bad anxiety. So once all the other freshmen moved in, it was it was really bad. There was a lot of people for me, and I actually went to a very small school, so it wasn't even a lot of people. Living in the dorms is not for everyone. It was not for me. I was very homesick all the time. I I loved where I was, but I, I couldn't live in the dorms. I didn't like the lifestyle. I didn't like how loud it was all the time. I didn't like how there was people around me all the time. I didn't like how I had to feel like I need to be around people. I'm a very introvert person, nine times out of ten, and that just doesn't work out for me, at least. I know a lot of introverts that do well in college, and you know, if they join one club, they're good, they make friends. I kind of didn't like being the super social person, and I, I made a few friends, and then I moved into a different building, as you guys saw, because I had two different dorm rooms in the same semester. The first dorm room was with me and my roommate. The second dorm room, I got a single to see if that would help with my anxiety, if I maybe had a little more me time. <laughs> it didn't help because I moved into a different building, so all my friends were in the other building, and then I was in this new building where I didn't really necessarily know a lot of people. By the time I started to know a lot of people was when the semester ended, and when the semester ended, I decided, hey, I'm gonna transfer back home. So then I transferred back home to a state college that was about a half hour away from my school and that's where I go currently. I'm in my sophomore year and I commute there and last semester I didn't like it too much because it was night classes and night classes are three hours long each. And now instead I go to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'm just there for 12 hours when I'm there but that's okay. I actually really like it a lot. I've already made some friends and and it's a bigger school that I'm used to and that terrified me at first and I really didn't like it at first but now, now I'm kind of used to it. But my tips for people avoiding this situation is, you know, get a feel for it. If you don't like living in the dorms, maybe, maybe try not living in the dorms. That's what I did. I was not in a good situation. Um, you guys probably saw I probably wasn't the peppiest person when I made my videos when I was in my dorm. I was kind of, I don't know, I just, I wasn't myself when I was living in the dorms. I wasn't happy. Um, my suggestion for other people is if you want to join a club, join a club. Go for it, but don't feel pressured to join a club because that's what everybody says. 
join a club, you'll make friends. And you know, it's true. Um, that's what happened with me when I joined the cross country team. All my friends were on the cross country team, but once the season ended, it was like we all went our separate ways. And I know you, you see some people, but once the season ends, everybody kind of like scatters. But just talk to people. Like when you sit down for class, um, it tends to happen, especially at the beginning of the year, everyone just like sits there at their desk and waits for the professor to walk in and it's really awkward and quiet because everyone's either on their phones, like scrolling through Facebook, or just staring straight at the wall. So I've learned, especially with this new coming year, that I don't want to deal with that awkward, so like just, just turn and talk to the person next to you. It's not that they don't want to talk to you, that's not why they're not talking to you, it's because they don't know what to say, so if you just initiate and are like, hi! So did you get the book for class yet? Oh my god, did you look through it? There's so much words and no pictures. Just start a conversation with the person next to you. Everyone kind of likes to talk about their own college stories because they're insane. Like, I have so many weird college stories. I, like, I have stories of when a guy walked off a building when he was drunk and broke a leg and had to drop out for the semester. And then, of course, like drunk people stories that I shouldn't really go into, just people screaming down the halls, just all these strange stories. So just turn and talk to the person next to you. Heck, when I did that for one of my classes, I made a friend and now we hang out all the time, we eat lunch together, and I'm a commuter so I don't make a lot of friends when I'm at my college now, and I'm in my second year and I, I had to restart because this is, this is a new college to me. This is my first semester back as a full-time student since I transferred from my other school. And I, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to because I have a job also. But I'm definitely liking it a lot more. It, I miss being in college and being able to educate myself because I actually enjoy learning when I'm not being like force fed. I think that was my little motivational college talk because I cannot, if you ask my parents, they'll tell you how many times I've tried to drop out of college. It's a lot. I called home crying a lot. But I actually, I, I, I think it's safe to say I like it. College is a love-hate relationship with every single student. You like it, but you hate it. But you know if you drop out, then you have to go into reality. And you know what? Reality sucks, okay? Working every day is not the best. Anyways, so don't drop out of college. Get your degree. Give the video a thumbs up, comment below if you enjoy college, or maybe if you hate it, still comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.